Welcome to VCHH Playlist. I am your host, V. Make sure that you hit the like, make sure you share, make sure that you subscribe. I'm going to make this short. This is to the black people today. Black folks, what are we doing? What are we doing? Like, we have gone to an all-time high of foolishness. We just got rid of a quote-unquote fake racist president for a real racist president. And that's one of my points. Um, at this point, it's rather you want to deny it, accept it. It is what it is. Now, shouts out to a lot of the black people that are waking up because there is a lot that has woken up and I want to definitely acknowledge them it's definitely worth noting, okay? Now, on to my other point. We always talk about how we need to start Black Wall Street over again. We talked about, we talk about things um, as far as like reparations and things like that. Well, the so-called quote-unquote racist president that you just got rid of had a $500 billion with a B package for black people and he had already done a lot for black people more than anyone else any other president has ever done but this was where we were going and you know you might want to thank Nassara Gassara for even that act because I already know where he was kind of coming with that but you know you guys may have ruined that too anyway um you know our population is about 13 percent in the United States. Now, they're supposed to be r roughly around 300 million people, you know. We could be nice and we could say, you know, that's 50 million black people, okay? I'm, I'm probably overcompensating, but just for the sake of the argument. Um, so if we took, you know, 50 million people, gave them a million dollars a piece, you're talking fifty million dollars, okay, um, with a whole lot of money left. Because I mean, of course, we're going to do things like we're going to obviously have stores. We're going to have we're going to um, re-energize our neighborhoods. We're going to um, so there's going to be construction, you know, um, black construction. There's going to be um, auto automakers, you know. So um, there's going to be black automakers. There's going to be entertainment, you know, actors, singers, um, sports entertainment, um, attorneys, um, directors, um, you name it. Like, I mean, there's going to be so much opportunity to where we can kind of like have our own little like land in a sense. And you guys just turned all that down for a guy that told you that he would talk to you after he won. And he won, and he hasn't talked to you yet. As a matter of fact, you are fighting with this dude to even get a $1,400 stimulus package, which to me, that shouldn't even be a conversation because open the economy back up. You know, we need, we need hand ups, not hand outs. Hand ups, not hand outs. And uh, what, you're going to put Harriet Tubman on a $20 bill? At the rate we're going, you ain't going to be able to even have a $20 bill with this dude. So, I mean, we're just doing some very unreasonable, illogical things. Um, it is what it is. Somebody has to call us out, so it needs to come from within so that we can um, be aware uh, I don't mind being that person because um, someone's going to understand what we did and the mistakes that we made. And when I say we, I'm just saying collectively. I'm not saying me personally. Um, so make sure you share this. Make sure that you smash a like, leave comments. I know everybody's not going to like this, but uh, it's not about feelings. It's about reality. And this is what... <laughs> We just did. We just turned down half a trillion dollars for possibly 
Harriet Tubman on a $20 bill and uh, a $1,400 stimulus package, which I heard that he's going to he's going to break down to like $300 per month um, until they exhaust that money. This is insane to me. This is absolutely insane what we just did. And we talk about we need um, the Black Wall Street, the reparations and all that. And here was this guy that y'all call racist because of what you were made to believe because you were too lazy to do your own research. You were too lazy to watch, you know, press conferences and things like that. So it was just easier for you to believe what people told you. And you ran with it. And this is what we get. I love you guys. In the name of Jesus, pray for us. Peace.